spooky spirits and welcome back. I am super ready and excited to announce that today we are starting the series Over the Garden Wall. I know nothing about this series. I know that it was very popular when it did come out in 2014. I have heard it's very Halloween-y, so it's the perfect time to check this out. Um, other than that, I don't really know anything about the series. I know there's a little boy on overalls who has a cup on his head and a little elf boy. That's about it. I don't know what else I'm getting myself into. I don't know if we're going to have kind of a Gravity Falls-esque situation. I've heard that it kind of is like in comparison to that kind of adventures. But I'm really excited to get into this. And I'm really excited to do the first part of the series and the first binge session of this uh, these episodes. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy my first time watching Over the Garden Wall. Hello, frog friend. Led through the mist. By the milk light of moon. Ooh, what a perfect October show. Is revealed. Ew, ew. Our long bygone burdens, mere echoes of the spring. But where have we come? And where shall we end? A curious place called the unknown, where long forgotten stories are revealed to those who travel through the wood. Okay. Albert Swami, Scooby, Ducky, Tom, Tommy, Hamber, Young Leg, Face, McCullin, Artichoke, Penguin, Pete, Steve. But Are I think naming? the very worst name for this oh. frog is... Wait, wait a second. Uh, what? Craig? Craig, I think we're lost. We, sh we should have left a trail or something. I can leave a trail of candy for my pants. Well, it, that doesn't help now, yeah. though. Though I am lost, my wounded heart resides back home in pieces strewn about the graveyard of my lost love. For only... What are you on about? Yeah. Do you think it's some kind of deranged lunatic with an axe waiting out there in the darkness for innocent victims? Greg! Sure! Uh, Let's just go find out. Greg, you're gonna get us into trouble again. Ew. Shoot. You think we should have asked him for help? Maybe I can help you. I mean, you guys are lost, right? <gasps> what in the world is going on? Well, you're stopping yourself, <laughs> and I'm answering your question, and... No, Greg, a, a bird's brain isn't big enough for cognizant speech. Hey, what was what? that? I, I mean, was gonna say, don't say that. You're, you're weird. Like, not normal. I, I the mean, turtle! Oh gosh, stop talking to it. We're... It? Uh, I, what I, are you doing here? Explain yourselves. Yeah, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. I was gonna oh, say... Oh, no, mister. Well, whatever you do here is your business. We, we just want to get home with all of our legs and arms attached. These mm -hmm. woods are no place for children. Don't yes. You know the beast is afoot here. Candy trick. Again, Greg, this doesn't what, help what us now. We've already work, been exactly. lost for a while. Everyone has a torch to burn, and this here is mine. I grind the horrid Hadlewood trees into oil to keep this lantern lit. This is my lot in life. This is my burden. This guy sounds loony. Maybe we should make a break mm -hmm. for him, if we can. But he must know the woods really well, so we may need to knock him out first. Except that may turn out really badly, huh? Yeah, bad, bad plan. It, it, forget it. Bad forget plan. it. Okay. What are you boys whispering Oh, he's gonna about? do it. Is Greg Nothing gonna do it? Running way out of here. Shh, Greg! Shh, oh my God. Shh, shut up. Leave, if you wish. But remember, the beast haunts these woods. Ever sing his mournful melody. Are we gonna see this beast in this episode, or is it leading up to, to help the us? No, not to help you. <laughs> I have work to do in the mill. When I am finished, I will do what I can to guide you. If you are still here when I return, I guess it's possible there's a beast, since there was a talking bird. But yeah, <sighs> yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm just like a boat upon a winding river. Twisting towards an endless black sea. Uh, I feel like you further, think too much. Further, Look at George just over there living life. From where I want to be, who I want to be. Oh, I didn't know that. Did you know that if you soak a raisin in grape juice, it turns into a grape? It's a rock fact. What? Oh, you're not helping at all. <laughs> Ew, I don't. Ew, is that, is that grinder gonna come into play? I don't think that's how trees work. Gross. Hmm, is that what? Oh, Ooh. there you are. That's the best thing that could happen to you. What? Kitty? Oh, 
gosh. Uh, no, the kid is right there. Ew, what is that? Ew! Oh my gosh. Nothing came bursting in the damn door. Stay back, boys. This case always says Oh my gosh. Will you get out of the way? Great. Look what you did. Why did you do that? Your plan, remember? Knock him out. Not now! Oh, bad plan. I told you to forget that plan. Forget it! Spank! 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 What are you doing? You're making it worse? Run, 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 run. This brother is just like, I'm ready to dip. And he's willing to leave his other brother behind. Am I supposed to throw something? Don't throw the frog. Oh, yeah! <laughs> okay. Oh, he likes the candy. I wonder if he ate my whole candy trail that led to this mill. Ah, uh, Greg, you led the beast right to us with your candy. Yeah, that makes sense. Will we want more. Do you have more? Because he wants it. Uh, hey, give me the axe. You're too little to have it anyway. I... What are we? Uh, we got. We got to get out of here. Down. <gasps> Shit! It knows how to climb. Uh, Greg, give him the rest of your candy. Is he out? He's out. <laughs> Maybe if he didn't throw it around the whole freaking time. Oh my gosh! That was horrific. Oh my gosh! Hey, that was Warren, horrific. Greg? Warren, he spit up that turtle and now he's my new best friend. Oh. Oh. The beast yeah. cannot be mollified like some farmer's pet. He stalks like the night. He sings like the four winds. He is okay. the death of hope. He steals their children. And he'll ruin the, the, the... I'm always messing up, Greg. Boy, you have it backwards. You are the elder child. You are responsible for you. Well, okay. He's old enough to make his I'm, own decisions. I'm, I'm, I'm so. sorry. Maybe I can fix it? I, I can't fix it. You must go. Take your brother north. Look for a town. The unknown. Fear the beast. And leave these woods. If you can. Okay. It Thank you. It is your burden to bear. Right. Yeah. I got it. Got and it. Little one, you look after that frog. Give him a proper name. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. That was a lot. Work. I think I thought of a new name for our frog. I'm gonna call him Work. That's gonna be really confusing. Yeah, that is really no, confusing. No, I'm gonna call you Katie. What? Maybe I'll start calling you Candy Pants. Whoa, yeah! Oh, that was a really cool episode. I liked that a lot. Okay, we're already on to episode two. Let's get it. What a fun series so far. It's almost morning. We should have found a town by now. Yeah, this how is the way long the woodsman told us to go, right? Have you listened to anything I've been saying? For the last couple hours, I've been saying... Yeah, we hear oh, it. That settles it. I'm gonna walk up ten feet ahead of you. Help! Huh? A what? I'm stuck. I hear something! Who's talking? Hello. It's oh, again. it's that bird! Help me out of here and I'll owe you a favor. Whoa, I get a wish? No, 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 not a wish. I'm not magical. I'll just do you a good turn. Oh, Can you turn she's me just into stuck. a tiger? Um, no. I just said I'm not magical. It doesn't have to be a magical tiger. Greg, stop talking to a bush. Okay. Huh? Thanks. I owe you a favor. So, um, you two are lost kids with no purpose in life, right? Uh huh. <laughs> this is a way to phrase it. How about I bring you to Adelaide of the Pasture, the good woman of the woods? She right. could help you get home. So, let's small talk. My name's Greg. What's yours? Beatrice. My oh. brother's name is Wurt. Who cares? Who cares? And my frog's <laughs> name is Wurt Jr. So but that may change. Okay, that's great. How about you and I ditch your brother? Why? Mm, maybe later. So is it nice being a bird? Nope. Oh. No. Do you like waffles? No, waffles make me Do you me like sick. pancakes? I eat Do you like French toast? Ah! What? How can you not eat waffles? Ah! Oh, what did you step on? I stepped on a pumpkin! Oh. Uh -huh. Civilization. At all. See anybody? No. Oh, I see you. Yeah, I see you too, Greg. Hey, Greg. not to be obnoxious, but an abandoned ghost town doesn't seem like it's going to be that useful getting you guys home. 
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> There's gotta be somebody. Ooh. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, pumpkin people. You murdered some of their own, though. Yo, oh, pardon me, dear. Say you folks to don your vegetables and celebrate the harvest with us. Uh, oh, you're harvest wearing costumes. Wood. Well, sure. Pumpkins can't move on their own, can they? They're not wearing costumes. I <laughs> thought they were no, pumpkin yeah, people. No. Good thing I didn't take this off. Oh, you boy. guys find this place as creepy as I do, right? Yes. So, it's some kind of weird cult where they wear vegetable costumes and <laughs> dance around a big thing. They seem nice enough. Ew, I don't like that one. Say, aren't you a little too early? What do you mean? I mean, it doesn't seem like you're ready to join us just yet. Join you? Yeah, no, I don't like no, that. No, I'm just passing through. Folks okay. don't tend to pass through Hotsfield. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's nice here. Um, I'm really just looking to, to leave here as fast as possible. Uh, what, what? Leave Potsfield? Who wants <laughs> to leave Potsfield? Um. Oh, are we leaving already? Let's leave immediately. Yeah, please. Oh, shit. I'm just trying to get home. We came into town from the woods. Uh, we saw your farms and your houses and thought, hey, here's a normal place with normal <laughs> people. And we must have done pumpkins. Yeah, and Don't then see we that. heard the Shut music up. from the barn. And, well, uh, how, how about we just leave? <laughs> now, let me get this straight. You come to our town, you trample yes. our crops. Yes. You interrupt our private engagement. Mm -hmm. Now you want to leave. Uh, yes. You'll never convict. You have no proof. This one's trying to what escape. What are you talking about? Go. I didn't know these clowns. Children, just... it saddens me that you don't wish to stay here with us. No, particularly you. because I simply have to punish you Ew, for your transgressions. Well. I sentence you to a few hours of manual labor. Oh, that's Wait, not so what? bad. Really? That's not so bad. That's it? Okay. We can do that. I thought it was gonna be so much worse. Time's a gentle stream, longer than it seems. Ooh, he took your hat. Two hours of manual labor, and we're this isn't so bad, though. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Just wander around this way and that way through the woods forevermore? Uh, uh, maybe we'll just. Stay here in Pottsfield. It's nice here. <laughs> uh, You're really just gonna live here? Know. No. Why do they even have you digging these holes? Planting seeds or something. That's a good question. That's a Maybe big hole. Maybe they're gonna bury you out here. <laughs> Beatrice? Hey, bury treasure. Whoa, really? See, Beatrice? What'd you find? A skeleton. <gasps> Ew. <gasps> Dead body. <gasps> Graves. Uh, 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 I was wrong. I was wrong all along. Yes, I don't know very much so. Wrong. Use your little feet to pick our locks. Oh, now you want my help? I, I don't want your help. You stalling. Right. Just say we're not finished uh, yet. You know, we were digging, and there were too many rocks. You guys don't like rocks, right? No, no we don't like rocks. See? So <laughs> we were like, we should get rid of these rocks. Oh, that's a good idea. Right? Yeah. So we were getting rid of the rocks. And oh my gosh, she did huh? him. Greg, what the hell? They left me. So what happened to the what rocks? What the hell? Uh, the rocks. Yeah, they they were um you know they, <gasps> Ew. they, they he's got, coming got back to life of all the well the dirt. He's you coming. Know, and... Oh he's dancing. Oh, really? What in the What is happening? What a wonderful harvest. And what about you? You sure you wanna leave? Yes, me? Yes, yes, please. Oh well. You'll join us someday. Okay, uh, thank you. Why are you still here? What do you mean? You guys left me. Yeah. Oh, your oh, lock was. Oh my on. gosh, your lock was undone. Oh my gosh. Oh, are they chasing us? No. No. I guess we're even now, huh? I wouldn't You're put not... it past Greg though, because they have ditched each other a number of times oh, already. Don't to help us anymore. Oh, I wish, but you weren't actually in any danger with those weirdos. Oh, yeah. Then you still have to help us get home. I'm going anyway. Why are you going to Adelaide's? I guess in some ways, I'm trying to get home, too. Hmm. That's funny. What does that mean? I don't have to tell you anything. Wow, this is going at a lightning freaking pace. Oh, my gosh. We're on to episode three, you guys. Three. I feel like this is crazy. It's going so fast. 
her when what why she is, but as for where she is, she is where we will go. To Adelaide, uh -huh. to Adelaide, come on and join the Adelaide parade. No, Adelaide, I like it. To Adelaide, let's go to Adelaide's house. I need to fix that last part, but that's the idea. I like it. So, Beatrice, you sing the high part. Talking silently, you know, and... Oh. Bert, let's go. Come on. Sorry, sorry. Why do you have that bad we, shoe? Like, don't you want to be more like your brother? Just always doing what you're told? Huh? Mm -hmm. Just a <laughs> pushover who relies on others to make all his decisions? Hey, what? I'm not a pushover. Hold on, Wirt. Let me get to my point. <sighs> Fine. See, Greg? <laughs> no oh real power her point. whatsoever. Hmm. You need to be more like that. But that doesn't really sound that fun. The world is a miserable place, Greg. Life Damn, fun. Beatrice, calm down. Then I'll do what I need to do, I guess. Hey, where's Greg? Oh, uh, wandered off, uh, I guess. Can you not keep track of him? We need to do our part to make the world a better place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh? And now you've wandered Whoa. into the darkest area of the woods. School? There's a schoolhouse. Today. Bell has rung. Class has begun. Oh, sorry, everybody. Sorry. No, he doesn't have a brain. He can't learn anything. Let's go. My work. God. Here, boy. What? Beatrice is oh, so brutal. I, I can't hear you because I'm too busy doing what I'm told. What? What are you? What are no, you no. doing? We don't have time oh, no. for See, this. I'm a pushover. Remember? I have to do what she tells me to do. I will not stand for such nonsense in my classroom. I got enough nonsense from that no good, two timey, low down, handsome man of mine. Oh, Jimmy Brown, why did you have to leave me so? Mm -hmm. And now, with my father threatening to close the school, and that wild gorilla on the loose, why, Jimmy, I just have one thing to say. There's a lot going on here. Praise for the apple that he gave to me, but I found a worm inside. Okay. Bees for the lover that I called to. Ooh, that lady's got some baggage. What's that? Surely does. Young man, go to the dunce box. The dunce oh, box? Sure. Okay. No, Is that like the sure. box of shame, oh, no. but with oh. a lock on it? Now, where were we? I'm gonna stick with you guys. Don't throw the turtle. <laughs> that was so mean. Hey, I got an idea. Let's play two old cat. Do you guys know how to play two old cat? No. What is that? It's fun. I'll show you. Here we go. Here's one old cat. Oh, you just find uh, random cats? Okay. Found another one. Wait, sure. No, I think that cat is too old. <sighs> no, he's not. He's valid Sorry, and he's adorable. We'll have to find another old cat. Oh, yes, hey, Jeffrey, thank you. I think there's one behind you. <laughs> hey, what is that? Oh, that's a gorilla. Oh, er, we got into some trouble again. Is he trying to hit the gorilla? What's he doing? Oh, damn, he got him. <laughs> My father will be visiting today, and we'll need to be on our best behavior. Quick, in here! Oh, nobody likes hey, nobody it. nobody ordered you to eat yet. Yeah, but... Mm. Hmm. Mm. Oh. Hey, Molasses. I know what to do. Here, Miss Langtree, play something like this. Oh my gosh. Oh, like this? Uh, good enough. Oh, potatoes and molasses. If you want some, I'll just ask a friend. What is molasses even? I didn't think that was socks, like a topping. I thought that was like a a, a paste that you mix in. And molasses. There's some herb sweeters in algebra class. If your stomach is grumbling and your mouth starts mumbling, there's only one thing to keep your brain from crumbling. Oh, potatoes and molasses. If you can't see them, put on your glasses. They're shiny and light, like a fish. My gosh. Bud. You know Why am I here for these song numbers? Ooh. Oh, that's enough. Father. Uh, is excuse me. This what I've been paying for? We were having a musical we just number. just wanted to have a little fun. I didn't invest in this school for fun. I thought we were trying to do important work here. Teaching animals to count and spell. Yes. We are. Oh, please, Father, don't close the school. <laughs> it won't happen again. I should say it won't. Um. Sad. I just wanted to have fun, change the world, and make it a better place. But I just made everything worse. You sang a song. 
Okay, Wirt, I'll admit it. You seem like a pushover, but you're not. Oh? Deep down in your heart. You're a stubborn jerk. When are you gonna give this up? Maybe never. Maybe I'll never give this up. Life savings, my home, everything I had went into that dear, dear school. And now I'm forced to sell these instruments just to keep it open. All the while, that loathsome Jimmy Brown is off gallivanting who knows where. Not to mention that wild gorilla on the loose. Ah, if only something would go right for it. I mean, we just gotta get rid of the gorilla and find a way to make more money. I think he's asleep. Let's go steal his stuff. What? Oh, money for school they're raising. That's a great idea. What is this? Hey, it's a benefit concert for the school. Huh, isn't it grand? All these fine people giving out of the goodness of their hearts. Oh. oh not like my Jimmy Brown. Not like Jimmy Brown. Oh, he's, he's not All he obviously ever did worth it. was steal my heart away. Gorilla! Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> Wait, is that Jimmy Brown in the gorilla costume? Is that what he's doing, ruining? Finally. Jimmy? That's right, darling. I was the gorilla. Why? But why did you do it? Got a job in the circus so I could finally buy you that wedding ring. But when I got stuck in the dang suit, everybody was too okay. doggone scared to help me out. Oh, Jimmy. So he got stuck in the oh. suit. Oh. So, you want me to tell Greg it's time to get going? Nah, let him have his fun. Filled with cream and candy rocks. Hey. Wirt? Yeah? Tie your shoe. Hmm? Yeah, oh. tie your shoe mm -hmm. and do it right okay. this time. Class if your stomach is grumbling. Yay! Potatoes and molasses. Now we're on to episode five, you guys, and I cannot get that potatoes and molasses song out of my head. Oh, I love this atmosphere. This turtle cannot get a break. No! No! Earth is happening. The beast is upon me. Shh, Greg. Is there a beast out there? Mm. No. I found a duck. Do you know how to make eggs from a duck? I'm hungry. What about you don't the beast? eggs don't come from the duck. I mean, they do, but not I those. You don't eat this. duck. That you can eat nuts. Mm, nuts. <laughs> You guys just go to the tavern. Okay. Just go. Oh, well, it's raining anyway. Fine, yeah, I'll do everything. I'm hungry. Well, hey there, Peach Pot. What you doing around there? What's that bird you got there? It's a. I am Beatrice. These two sweet kids and I got a bit lost in the. <laughs> oh, no oh, birds no. allowed in my tavern. No birds allowed in your. It's a bad omen when a bluebird enters through your door. It's oh. bad luck, lady. Bluebirds are good luck. We bring joy and happiness to the. <laughs> Good luck, Ooh. bad luck. I don't need any of it. Curse you, lady. Curse you. You'll die someday, and I'll laugh. Laugh! Oh my God, <laughs> Beatrice! Forget this. I am out of here. Wirt, you get directions. W wait, no. I, I don't want to. Just do it. And I'm the tavern keeper. Who are you? I'm hungry. I. I I'm I don't hungry. Know. I don't really like labels. I'm just sort of like myself, you know. Maybe he's simple. No, I, I'm just. <laughs> I'm just lost. See, we're, we're trying to get to. I'm the highwayman. Okay, good to know. Okay. Well, so you see, I'm the highway man. No, okay, we heard I you. I make ends meet. Right. Just like any man, I work with my hands. You cross my path, I'll knock you out. Ooh, this feels like another spooky Do bomb. your shoes from off your feet. I'm the highway man. I, I don't like the way he moves, like physically. Makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Excuse me? What? I, I was wondering if you knew the way. Uh, I mean, I, I'm. Her name is Adelaide, and. Oh, no, it's a girl you're after, eh? No, I mean. Oh yes, boy. But... <laughs> Are you not the witless, simple-minded fool everybody takes you for? Everyone thinks I'm. You're the young lover. What? Young lover? No. If you really mm -hmm. want to get with this Adelaide gal. I, I don't. I, I mean. Well, not here's my... what you do. Oh no! Here we go again. Write a loving letter, boy, that sloops and sweeps and curls. Calligraphers are just the thing to help you win your girl. Then you'll need to dress up smart. The tailor's here by chance. So stitch your trousers, hold your belt, and find culture of friends. I'm I didn't married. like that song I'm as much. It was catchy, that. but I, it wasn't one of my favorites. No, please, please. can't be wearing that. 
Hmm. I have to be outside, then those jokers do too. Oh, hey, Beatrice, do you want some food too? No, uh, how's Bert doing getting directions? Mmm, pretty good. <laughs> He's kind of losing them. <laughs> what about that woodsman? I bet he knows these woods better than anybody, huh? Oh. This was right, the guy, guys, though, who right told in. us nothing helpful. Sing, Just make something up. My name is Wirt, and his name is Greg. We're related because my mom remarried and then gave birth to him with my stepdad. Okay. <laughs> We're not from around here. Can you all give me some directions today? A okay. traveler on a sacred journey. You're the master of your own destiny. The hero Look at Greg just story. chowing down over there. Pilgrim. Tell us your feet, Pilgrim. What are the challenges in your tail? Your travels, Pilgrim. Oh, uh, I met this helpful woodsman who told us which direction to go to avoid the beast. <gasps> the beast. Oh, the, the, the beast. Oh, you guys. We actually heard of the beast encountered too? the beast we as well. Know the beast. Yeah, we actually encountered it. He lurks out there in the unknown, seeking those who are far from home. Once your will begins to spoil, he'll turn you to a tree of oil and use you is in the his lantern for No, no, because we know the woodman. Woodsman isn't the beast. Wait, wait, wait! Lantern. The woodsman was the guy with the weird lantern, not the beast. Yeah. Pilgrim, he who carries the dark lantern must be the beast. What? No, the woodsman's a good guy. He warned us of the beast and told us which direction to go to avoid him. That's and what I'm saying. I'm more lost than ever, huh? Actions, Pilgrim, you follow that compass inside your heart. That's uh, incredibly unhelpful. No, I think we need directions. Yeah. <gasps> Beatrice! Go save your friend and get yourself home! Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for being super unhelpful. Uh, okay. Beatrice? Oh, my gosh. Uh, trees. Oh, oh, it's you. Hey, Mr. Yes. Woodsman. I told you. What are you doing over here? Huh? Beatrice, you're turning into an Adelwood tree. You were the beast all along. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this? Greg, get Beatrice. <laughs> I don't know, I thought maybe, but I don't know. Boys, the beast is upon you. <laughs> Ooh! Oh my gosh, oh, oh and I started a fire. That was amazing. Well, he sang a song. We over exaggerated that. Save you from the axe guy. He's the pilgrim. That's all well and good, but you were supposed to get directions. I did. We just got directions from Fred before you woke up. Who? Oh, uh, Beatrice, meet Fred the horse. Oh my gosh, she's nice the horse. Your acquaintance. You can talk. Oh my gosh, we're gonna just ask him. <laughs> it seems you're running out of oil, woodsman. Why not let me take the lantern for a while? For violence, woodsman. But be sure to keep it lit, or your daughter's flame will go out forever. Now, oh my God. what direction did those children go? You leave those children be. Yes, leave them alone. Please. So he isn't. I mean, he's. Not. Okay, so that was part one of Over the Garden Wall. That was. Uh, there's so much to unpack. So much to unpack. Um. So I thought the woodsman was gonna be the beast at that end episode, but because in the first episode he was really mysterious, but then we saw the beast. But then he couldn't have been the beast. But then he does know the beast because he just said that he fought for that lantern. So. What does that mean? And what uh, does the beast have his daughter captive, or did he do something to his daughter? That's very mysterious and ominous and scary. Um, but I loved, I think I liked the school episode, the first episode, and the one right before. I think out of all five episodes, I think the last one was the weakest one for me, just personally. I didn't know that I was going to enjoy this series so much. I didn't know what it was about, but I was kind of like, eh, about going into it. And I was like, am I going to really enjoy this as much as um, I think I will? And honestly, so far, I'm really enjoying it. I like Greg. He's such a fun character. He's such a good comic relief. He's probably my favorite character. Beatrice is absolutely brutal. She just will tell it as it is. Like, no question, no comment. Like, she'll tell you how it is just blunt and simple like that and that's hilarious to me and then there's um i don't know if it's wart or right something like that i, I know it's spelled w-i-r-t i just don't know how they're pronouncing it because they're saying it a certain way but the brother 
the eldest brother. I really like him. Um, I like the dynamic. I think it's really cute how they do this humor. They do songs. I love that they do songs. I think it's kind of cool because I didn't know that they, this was even a musical or that it even had musical bits in it. But I'm enjoying the songs. I think the one that's going to be stuck in my head the longest and the most right now is going to be the potatoes and the molasses just because that was so catchy. Um, but all that being said, I'm really enjoying the series. I hope you guys are enjoying Spooky Month. And I hope you're having a great time. I hope you're enjoying this because I'm hoping to do another part where we do another five episodes for part two, which will include the rest of the episodes and then the finale as well. So I hope you guys are excited because I sure am. And if you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And until next time, guys, stay spooky. Bye. Oh, potatoes and molasses. If you want some, oh, just ask.